I just got back from my first day at Quexicon. Again, I just got back from my first day at Quexicon, and it was super fun. <laughs> I had a lot of fun. I'm sorry, I need to get myself a selfie stick, so if this shakes, again, sorry. Um, it was really great. I went to an academic lab and all of that, and thought I was going to be late because <laughs> I drive in from the edge of Vegas all the way to the Strip, which takes a while because there's a lot of commuter traffic. And then you have a lot of, I think, retired people probably too who are like, hey, I'm going to go ahead and do whatever all day long sometimes. And so they're on the road as well, plus everybody going to school. And that includes people commuting at uh, CSN, which is a community college of Southern Nevada, and then UNLV. And UNLV is near the Strip, University of Nevada, Las Vegas. So you have all that all that commuter traffic plus everybody who works at all the casinos, okay? <laughs> so um, luckily I was able to get there on time. Um, I ended up parking at the Excalibur because I was actually worried that I'd end up piddling around too much trying to find parking at the Tropicana, which I'm not as familiar with that property. I've been there only once, and that was when my um, my cousin and his wife came to visit. So I was able to park in the Excalibur. I know most of the strip like the back of my hand, but there's a few properties that I don't. <laughs> and the Tropicana is one of them. So um, I do know, however, like how the inside was laid out. And I looked at the property map, which is under their frequently asked questions um, part of their website to determine like, hey, where's the conference stuff? And I was able to find all of it. It's, it's more of an old school kind of property, so I dig that about it because it's a lot more simple <laughs> to get through things. And they have this really pretty um, uh, ceiling there uh, not long after you enter the Tropicana. And I just, I love looking at it. And I hope that that property stays forever because it's just, it's, it's really pretty. Anyway, um, and it's very like laid back and it's kind of smaller than some of the other properties. And I like it for that reason. <laughs> Among any, many other reasons. So anyway, I went around, followed the map um, that I had memorized in my head, <laughs> and went up the escalator past the player stuff and was able to find uh, the convention area. But I was, this, I was able to get this uh, today, which was really nice. Because, I mean, otherwise I would have had to pick it up at the pool party after everything. But I was like, I'm not cleared to swim yet, surgically, so... I can't do that even if I wanted to. <laughs> um, the academic labs were great. Everybody was fantastic. It went from, geez, I think it went from like nine to almost four. And there were just a lot of really good talks. A lot of, there were just so many. Like if I was to go through like all of them, it would take forever. So I'm not going to, but I will reference at the bottom of this video a link and I don't know how long it will stay um, as the 2019 Lexicon uh, academic lab schedule, but I'll reference that there in the bottom so you can have more of an idea of all the different topics <laughs> that people covered because there were so many. And again, like the first part of the day was like different panel panels or talks really about, um, to me, they felt like lectures too, which was cool. I mean, it was just still a discussion as well, but it was anyway. Um, about people's research in their fields and all that. And then like the second part of the day, so like after lunch was really more like it felt like um, teaching <laughs> and the teaching side of things. And specifically um, at the very end, it was it was K through 12 kind of um, talks from people who work within the K through 12 system. And that included things like the Fair, Edu Fair Education Act uh, that California recently passed. So it was really great. I really enjoyed it. Um, I'm tired. <laughs> I feel like such a wimp. I'm like, I'm tired. I got to go home. I met some nice people. I didn't get everybody's name and I feel kind of bad about it. Um, but if I see them around the con, I might be like the awkward person that was like, hi. Because uh, <laughs> it was a really nice group of people and that was wonderful. Um, in fact, I met one person who may actually end up going to Mills and I really hope that they do. I, I'm a Mills alum and... Uh, Mills College, and I'm really glad and grateful that I was privileged enough to have that experience because, I mean, I was a, I was a, you know, full financial aid needed kind of <laughs> student, but I was able to go in and do that, and it was really cool. So I was, I was able to actually talk to somebody about that, and, um, and that was, that was just nice. And then I kind of broke the ice with some other folks 
both accidentally and then purposefully in some cases. So, so yeah, and I didn't get um, everybody's name, but I'll recognize people, hopefully. <laughs> Sometimes I have like this thing where I don't always recognize faces. And it's terrible. <laughs> and when I worked retail, what I'd do is if it was the same customer the same day, I'd know by their clothing. It's debatably face blindness. <laughs> but anyway, uh, yeah, so I'll, I'll, I did my best today, though, to remember what, what, what people's faces looked like. So hopefully that'll work. And tomorrow there are several workshops I'd like to go to, including the disabled and LGBT one. So... That'll be fun, uh, and also I, I, I really want to check out the Artist's Alley and everything, and I totally shouldn't be buying anything, because I just shouldn't, but I might break down and buy, like, one button <laughs> or something. So, this has been a Klexicon update, my first day, and um, it's, been, it's been really, really fun. Uh, it's been great to be around people um, who are different aspects of the communities. Um, that I empathize with to a certain level because, of course, like there are limits to my empathy because I'm not that person, and I haven't have their I don't have their identical lived experience, but it's cool because again, it's for um, LGBTQA plus, LGBTIQA plus, and allies uh, to go there, and it's just great. I have missed feeling like <laughs> I've been around people who. Um, understand or at least vaguely aware to extremely aware of all of that uh, since I, I left Mills College and I haven't really had that since. So the academic lab was also a special treat because getting to learn from people who've been in the field, who are researchers, and um, researchers in their own right and their works and learning how they go about their methodology and all that plus getting to um, hear people who work in K through 12 talk about all that. That's amazing. So really great opportunities. I'm really glad, I'm really glad it worked out that I was able to get the academic lab uh, add on. So first day at Klexicon, it was, was it everything that I, that I thought it would be? No, not at all. It was more. I hope the academic lab stays. It's awesome.